Hello. Have you ever wanted to do your own informatics, chip seek, RNA seek, attack seek, anything seek? Well, it is now very possible. And this is a course just for you outlined to have no experience and be able to feel empowered to do all of these informatic analyses. And the way we have structured this is online here at longnoncodingrna.io forward slash teaching. We're in, we'll go through each section step by step. So if you have no skills whatsoever, we'll teach you how to learn bash and then how to clone the class in GitHub and run chip seek pipelines, RNA seek pipelines, all the pipelines that NF Core provides us, which is tons. And we can see this here. This is why this class is possible is that all the pipelines of your favorite seek are now um, pipeline approved by experts. For instance, we will go over, we will run the RNA seq pipeline. There's a tax seq here um, and chip seq, clip seq, chip seq, any kind of seq you need, um, you will have the skills to run these pipelines. Um, that's our goal is to teach the fundamentals so that you can apply them to your genomic approaches. But along the way, learning by applying it to genomic data where we can ask questions and find out new biological insights. And so everything you need for this class is free and online. I even have the data available for you to download so you can follow along um, if you're not in the class. And um, that is on longnoncodingrna.io.teaching where we have on our lab website here, all of the different classes organized here. So the skills you wanna learn. So let's say you already know ChipSeq and you wanna learn RNA-seq, you could just start here. Um, but I do recommend going through each one, one at a time. And we have a YouTube video here and the code for the class is right here and you'll get it on GitHub. Um, everything is just connected and stepwise and ready to go. All right, so um, what we will then be doing from this platform is what I like to think of as workshop class, uh, woodshop class for data science, where we have data and we need to know Unix and how to uh, access that data and how to get free data. We're going to use ENCODE's data, tons of data, all free online, and you will feel comfortable grabbing anything you need in the future. Um, using Bash or Unix, and we can get the data. Um, we'll also learn Bash. Um, and NextFlow is what will run the pipeline. So you can go from raw data to analyses, data you could present in a full lab meeting on ChipSeq, RNA-seq, ATAC-seq, or any type of seq you want, thanks to the NF Core output um, from those pipelines I just showed you. And we'll also be using Git the whole time um, so that everything is trackable. Um, and shareable, you'll clone the class and go from there on your own computer. Um, we also have, during the class, all the um, best practices of 100% reproducibility. In fact, the entire class is actually reproducible. Um, and we'll, we'll do that along each step where we're gonna learn um, bash skills and learn how to mark down the code there so that can be used by anyone. Git is really important so you can share your work, collaborate, and be part of the computational environment online. Also, you'll clone this class and you'll feel comfortable cloning any type of code that's already out there. We'll go through those basics. And then we're going to learn NextFlow pipelines or uh, furnished by NF Core. This is absolutely amazing. It has transformed the ability to do um, computational work for anybody with no skills. Um, and so once we've learned that, you'll feel comfortable applying that to any pipeline. We'll first do it with ChipSeq, where we'll download um, your favorite data sets. And we're going to do things iteratively and stepwise. So we'll first work on one DNA binding protein's ChipSeq data, and then we'll do six to 10, and then we'll do 480. We're going to do a massive scale um, that most people haven't even actually looked at yet. Um, and there are a couple gems that we find along the way. Um, we'll also go, once we feel comfortable getting the data out and some basic R skills, we'll build meta plots so we can look at uh, genomic averages of our data. And then we'll do RNA seq so you feel comfortable rerunning these pipelines and you'll be able to go to that website and pick out your favorite pipeline or for your project here. So it's a bit of work and you're going to have to learn these skills at some point, but it's set up to walk you through it 
step by step from no skills to feeling confident in doing RNA seq, chip seq, attack seq, um, and then applying that to any seq you're interested in. So most of the things we're going to learn are very fundamental and applicable to any type of omics data. Um, so then what we're going to do is after we've learned each of these steps with a few proteins and a few data sets, we're going to go global. We're going to download all of ENCODE and, uh, for a given cell type and go see how do DNA binding proteins localize around the genome. Most of the time people look at one or two, maybe 10, but we're going to look at all the available data and it'll hopefully make you feel confident that you can go online and go grab data from any repository and then run these pipelines and start to use your skills to analyze the data. Um, and so we are going to have an application the whole time. We'll be applying this to ENCODE's um, ChIP-seq data and RNA-seq data and figure out how also how chip binding of DNA binding proteins relates to the output of expression and compare nuclear, cytoplasmic, all the RNA-seq skills you would need to compare groups, two groups or multiple groups is what we'll go over through stepwise um, in a few classes. So um, again, we really want to apply this to questions we can ask about the genome relative to the data we have. And then also um, at each step, um, be able to um, really gain the fundamental skills to feel that we can apply this to something else. Um, and so as a way of doing that, um, what we want to do is make sure things are 100% reproducible. Um, and to do that, we really um, use GitHub. And here is actually the, the class itself is 100% reproducible. <laughs> you can run one file. And, um, at, and along the way, we're going to say what we're doing. Um, this is all online already. You can um, find out how we did um, these analyses for 480 DNA binding proteins and their properties, how long non coding are. Oh, this one's really interesting here that lots of proteins bind to some promoters, uh, spoiler alert, but you will feel comfortable writing the code that anybody can now download and reproduce the exact figures of any paper you have. Um, and I think that's really important nowadays to, is to feel comfortable analyzing your own data. And to be honest, this has become extremely simple over time. Um, and we're here to provide the skills at it, every point for you to be able to do pretty much any analysis you would need to do um, for your uh, projects and your research. Okay, so this is, again, you can run the, press one button, run all of this code, and you will reproduce this exact same document. So those are other skills we'll do along the way is how, did, how do you write in a way that's reproducible? Um, and then how do you mark it down at the end to produce one of these websites where all of your data um, is here? So you can have any paper that you've published completely reproducible with all the figures. Um, right here and the code that produced them. Um, getting into RNA-seq here and comparing long non coding RNA and mRNA, um, we're going we're gonna to do it all. All the basic stuff that we would do on a routine basis and do it in a stepwise manner where you reapply these skills over and over again towards interesting questions and then ultimately will feel empowered to work on it with your own data. Um, so with that, I am very excited about this iteration of the class. It's been four years in the making, and I think we've almost perfected it, where you will have classes on GitHub um, all ready to go, code all runs, um, and then also YouTube videos to go along with it. That'll be a bit faster than we'll do it in class, and we will, um, but you'll be able to pause it and go back and look over class. And to show sort of the importance of having application-based education, we previously did this for 195 DNA binding proteins, this same class, the same kind of approach of learning the basics and going and learning them iteratively so you start to feel confident in them um, to do your own analyses. We even published a paper. Um, I was very proud. This is one of the proudest papers that I am of having it with all these wonderful students who, and we do this online, so it's easy for anybody, it's free, um, and you can do it on any computer. Um, 
And so I thought it was kind of nice that the reviewers appreciated this um, when we published a paper from this class. So with that, uh, I hope you can go start your journey on anything SEEK. Um, yes, you can. I believe that it is now possible. And I think we've laid out the fundamental steps. Um, again, it takes time. Anything worthwhile is going to take some time to go over. But feel free to pause. Feel free to be frustrated. Feel free for bugs to happen in your code. This is the life of informatics. And it's actually wonderful. Um, and you can do so many things. And I look forward to having you enjoy the class. And this is all you need right here is here's where all the YouTube videos will be. And the classes are organized in numbers in each of these sections where we start out with one with Bash, then GitHub, NF core pipelines, some R basics, genome ranges, which is applicable to any type of genomic data. How do you find overlaps? What does it mean? How do you index things? Um, key fundamental skills that are applicable to anything. And we're going to do some practical chip seek analyses, make meta plots, then move into RNA seq, which is a bit more tricky, but we'll have all the fundamentals in our toolkit at that point. And then we're going to redo all of these things with 480 DNA binding proteins. And it's so exciting that you can just, with any computer, feel confident to go get free data and ask the questions you're interested in. So please enjoy the class and be well. Thank you.